So this next one's another blending one. Uh, this is uh, from a reading specialist exam. It's from the Texas 151. Uh, if you're a reading specialist, it's a great one to take a look at. It's a little harder. Um, I want you to take a moment. I just want you to read it once to yourself. Uh, this might take longer than a minute, but I'm just going to put down one minute here. And you're going you're gonna to pause the video. Do that now. And when you're ready to continue, unpause. Okay? Pause the video and read. So I know the question says reading specialist, but to be honest with you, this, this could have easily been a teacher, right? This doesn't sound like it's, I mean, this is, this is clearly an activity that's happening in the classroom, right? So reading specialist, teacher, uh, I don't know, it could, it could easily be on your test is what I'm trying to say. This is, this is a pretty standard interaction, but, but let's just read it. It says here, the following is an exchange between a reading specialist and a group of struggling first grade readers at the end of a lesson. I think this could easily happen in any first grade classroom. Okay. Now it says struggling first grade readers. So remember we were doing like a young readers, maybe they're starting reading at kindergarten. That's five to six. And so, so before that would be pre-K. Some kids are starting to read at pre-K. And some kids are starting to read at first grade. Is that right? So we're talking about a group of kids in first grade and, and they're still behind in that reading process. So that group, first grade, could be second grade, could be third grade. Hey, could be sixth grade. But, but in, in, in just to visualize this, we have that a student in this grade that is, is a year or at least a year behind their peers in this reading process, okay? So they're having this conversation with a group of the teachers having a conversation with the students that are behind. And the student teacher says, uh, class is over, o -o over, -er. and the student says over. And then the reading specialist says, it's time to go back to your room. The student says, room. Now, then, the, then it says here, the reading specialist could use this activity to informally assess which of the following. So what is the reading specialist doing? They're segmenting, I'm sorry, they're segmenting the sounds over, er. And what is the student doing? Blending them together, over. Or r, u, m. And what's the student doing? Blending them together, room. Uh, this is really important that you're, you're able to take words in spoken language and do that, right? You want to be like the word stuck, s, s, t, a, uh, k. Just uh, uses the K for that sound. We got to be able to segment and blend them together, right? Okay, so it says here the reading specialist could best use this activity to inform another assessment question. So this is a potential assessment question as well. Informally assess which of the following concepts. Well, they're segmenting and then the student is blending. So it's showing that they're able to blend phonemes in oral speech, right? It's not substituting sounds. That's not what we're doing. We're not taking cat and turning it into bat. That's out. It's not segmenting uh, words into morphemes. So we're not like doing like replay. A morpheme is the smallest part of a word that carries meaning, like prefixes, um, uh, base words or root words, or suffixes like replay, replayed. I don't know. We'll just keep it at that. That has a prefix and a, and a base word. No, we're not doing that. We're not segmenting the words into morphemes. So this isn't a morpheme question. Uh, we're not isolating the last content, uh, the la last consonant in a word. So we're not taking the word... Uh, um, room and identifying that the last sound is M. Now, what are we doing? The teacher is segmenting the sounds in the word and the student is blending them together. So this is blending phonemes. Who got this? Did you, did you, was this hard? I don't think this was that hard. I, I know it says reading specialist and this is a reading specialist exam, but honestly, I think any teacher could do this. This is good practice. This is a good test for teachers to do. 
it's it's in fair game. And even though the question says reading specialist, I think this activity, this scenario of blending phonemes, right? This is something that any classroom teacher might experience. So this is good for everyone to take a look at, okay? I like this question um, as they came up with these new, this is a, a fairly recent test came out um, in 2022. Um, um, it is a, it's a, I think it's a good test to take a look at. And, and it's got a lot of these new setups that you have. And look at all the great vocab you get to review too. So it's a great question. The answer here is B. And I wanna go to uh, our, our uh, answer here. It's from this test to highlight it. And this is one of those exams that has that nice rationale. So if you want to go to these exams and, uh, and take a look at the answers and, and look at the rationale, because the rationale will help you get a deeper understanding of the concepts in the question. OK. All right, team, let's continue on and, and, and go to the next question. See you there.